All right. So we are going to change the CVT oil for the proton in Spira. This is the probably 60,000 or 70,000 kilometer change for the CVT oil. In total, overall mileage is about 200 kilometer, sorry, 200,000 kilometer. <coughs> so the first thing we need to do is drain the CVT oil from the bottom. So this is located on the passenger side of the car and we'll need 19mm. Okay, so when it comes to changing the CVT oil for this particular car model, it's very crucial that you get the correct oil. If you just use any normal ATF or automatic transmission fluid, you will ruin your gearbox. That is a confirm. So sometimes this might be a bit tight and well as it's a bit thin. Okay, so we need a mallet. Okay, once it's loosened, put your container below it. And proceed to take out the drain plug. Ready? Go. So, you can see that the oil is not that dirty, but I'm changing it anyway. Mainly because I'm experiencing quite a lot of uh, droning noise from the gearbox network. It's under stress or when it's heated up. So, that tells me that the oil has already been degraded. So, what I'm going to show you today is that I'm going to change the oil the lower filter as well as the CVT cooler filter on the top. So main, mainly people will change just the oil and the uh, lower filter on over here, but a lot of people does not know that there's a, a CVT cooler filter on the top. So once this is done draining, uh, I'll probably edit out most of the drain portion here because it's taking a while. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to drain off, uh, just a brief uh, on what we're going to do. So we'll be taking off this oil pan. Uh, that's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's 18 nuts here. <coughs> oh, sorry, it's time. Uh, okay, so there's 18 nuts here whereby we need to take it out and then we'll lower this and we'll wash it off and dry it off, change the filter, put it back, then we'll move on to the top. So to remove this 18 bolt you will Needing 10 mm uh, mm socket. Make sure that it's drained all the way because when you lower the pan, it will actually uh, flow out or more like it pour out. So it's best if you can just drain it as much as you can first. Alright, so while we're waiting for the bottom to drain, why don't we just put on the top? Okay, so we're going to be changing the CVT oil filter, which is on the top here, which is only accessible from the top. Uh, so, right, what we need is that we need to remove this, this, and the battery in order to access it on the bottom there. Two, no, 
two plastic pieces there. And then you can actually just wrestle this out in a way. And you still need to wrestle this out. So you might want to take this off. Oh heck, take the battery out first. Okay, size 10. Now, once we have removed the battery, t battery as well as the battery uh, seat, we will have to actually remove these two because this, this is the cooler. This is the hard one. So there's one, two, three, and a couple more bolts on the bottom here. Two here and one here. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Well, you think after this three bolts, it comes out? No, you are wrong. There's two more bolts on the bottom. So, normally it would have been very, very torturous and suffocating to remove this unit because you have unbolt that all the way. Fortunately for me, the last time I changed it, I modified this a bit. So yeah, I just need to lose it and I can just take it out. Simple as that. Just cut, unbolt, loosen, slot out. All's good. Okay, so. We'll be moving on to the important parts. Just let me tuck this away. Okay, so this filter is held on by four bolts. One, two, three, and one more on the bottom here that we can't really see. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, all these are using 10 mm. My god, whichever idiot designed these are uh, really shot in the head. Right? And we finally got it out. Thank god. Okay, so. get my hands washed. Okay, so now that we have the filter casing out, we need to look at the filter itself and change it. So there are two things here. One is the filter, one is the gasket. This is all original part. Okay. So yeah, all that hard work for this small little filter. And this gasket, which is also another audio part. So, how do you go about this? Changing the gasket is as simple as just pulling this out. Alright. 
and replacing it and the filter is in here yeah, just wiggle it out okay so you can see the difference between the new and the old oh 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 yeah okay so putting back the new filter new gasket so the first thing we need to do is just give this thing a wipe okay, okay now I have to use a bit of a paper towel because that cloth was empty So putting back, it's as simple as just lifting this, putting this on top, make sure it's in place, just like that, not sure if you can see that, alright and just plugging this back in. Yep. And we're done, and we have to put back everything, which is not fun. But at least, now it is a little bit more flexible. Okay, so now that we're done with the top, we have to change the bottom gasket as well as the filter before we put in the oil. Okay, so, yep, let's get to it. Okay, so the way I'm doing this is that I'll be I'll be taking out all the bolts except for these two final bolts and so there's one two final bolts over there so I'll be removing all the sides first. Okay. And then I'll move one here. You can see that it starts dripping out now. This part of time I Super numb. Going against gravity, and we have it down. Wait, not too much of our speed. Good. Yeah. I'm using. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using a new cloth to wipe this down. See how that is. Okay, I'm wondering why I'm using a kit cloth instead of an old rack. Alright, so I don't want any of the contaminants from the old, from the old rack to be in direct contact with the inside of the gearbox. That's why. Okay. So, we still have three more boats to take out. 
in order to replace the filter. This is the new filter, it goes up there and it's held by three bolts. Size 10 mm. Okay, it's important to constantly wipe this so that you don't get any of the fluid dripped on your face. Don't Pull out the old one, and yeah, you get a lot more oil. Not to mention that. All right, just let it drip. There won't be much to drip. Okay, once that is done, just pop in the new one. You'll be taking the pan and washing it. Now that everything has been assembled back, it's time to pour the new um, CVT fluid into the gearbox. So we are going to be using this. Um, not sure if you can see it's a bit bright. Turn off the flash. So what we are looking at is the Mitsubishi Genuine uh, CVT fluid J4. So we are not using the J3. So I have a one liter bottle and a four liter bottle. Both are J4. All right. So in total, five liters. All right. Let's start the pour. It's 
is one thing I would like to note um, when you're actually pouring the oil, which is use a funnel. As you can see, we are using a green color funnel. Green means echo. Right. Okay. And um, it's good to have a cloth around your funnel just in case you did accidentally do any spills, right? Just in case. For safety measures. Alright. Here we go. Not sure if you can see it in the camera, but it's blue in color. Oh yeah, Pepsi blue. All right, I'm going to pour the entire four liter in. Then I'll use the dipstick and check if that's enough or not. Then I'll slowly top up using the one liter bottle. So you have to be careful here and not to overflow. Which is why we're pouring slowly instead of just ah, like that. Ooh. All right. All right, that's what I call a good pour. Why do I call it a good pour? Well, less than two minutes, it's done. And let's check the level that it's at right now. All right. Oh, sorry. It's not giving me any current reading. Let me do that again. Okay, seems like it's enough, but tell you what. What we'll be doing now is well it shows enough but we're not too sure, so what we'll be doing now would be the test drive. So more like the lack of it. Uh okay. Okay, so what we'll do be doing right now is that um, we start the car, drive around, come back and check the level again and top up if necessary. Because at the moment it's showing at maximum. But because we changed so much filter, um, pretty sure the, most of the lines are still empty.